Hi everybody, it's Titania Creates here. It's November, and instead of following a calendar, which I really never finish any of my things that I want to finish, I'm just going to be filling a spread. A two, a three, a four, five, seven, eight. A spread of colors. I have colored pencils here, highlighters, just random pins, a whole bunch of cheap art supplies. I just want to draw something colorful and stuff, so hopefully you guys can come along with me and get out your sketchbook and draw a spread of colors. So I'm going to using, be using this to color, so this is the emotion I think of for each color. And the first emotion is anger or love. So let's just start with the emotions first. No, I'm just gonna stop right there. So something is seriously wrong with my audio and it always cuts out. And I happen to film this video all in one take. So with this whole entire video, the footage got lost. Except for the intro, that didn't get lost. So I'm just gonna guide you guys through this. So I'm just drawing this girl. And instead of angry, she more has a like, frustrated, kind of annoyed look, which is totally fine because I really don't know how to draw an angry person. I definitely should make a video of working on facial expressions for my characters. So she just has her arms crossed and she has a cute bun with some like little dangly bits um, down. And I made her more of like a formal, like almost businesswoman. <laughs> I don't know why, I was actually looking and thinking of like 50s, but it kind of looks like a businesswoman outfit. So she has like the cutoff at the top where it's hanging from her shoulders and then her belt. So I did this all with a red colored pencil because I haven't done that in a while. And hopefully you guys can see the red colored pencil all right. Because I have a problem whenever I draw things with red colored pencils, it doesn't really ever show up on camera. But I had good lighting at this moment, so the red color pencil is showing up pretty well. Also, in the comments down below, tell me if you like longer videos or shorter videos. This is a long video, and I know I did three long videos in a row, so tell me if you guys like those videos better. These videos are more attended for people that like having something on in the background, or even you can watch it just without doing anything. But I like these kind of videos where I'm just drawing in the background and I'm like glancing up at videos. So this is more what this is. Or do you guys like more videos where you can really pay attention? So tell me in the comments down below because this channel is for you guys. And I just took a simple little Crayola marker and I did like this streak behind her and then I took a bright pink highlighter and I also added some more little scrubbles for that and it looks pretty cute. Let's go on to our next color, which is orange. When I think of orange, I think of kind of excited and jumpy and just very like, ah, uh, I don't know. And then the object I think of is orange, like a fruit orange. So I kind of incorporated this into this character. And so far, <laughs> I'm gonna be only drawing girls, but there's a surprise at the end for the color purple. So stay tuned for that. Yeah. Don't click away. <laughs> I'm also using an orange colored pencil from the same brand for this girl too. And for the rest of my characters that I draw for this Hue Vimper spread, I'm drawing um, with just some cheap big colored pencils. They're like the Walmart brand, like the big ones, like the big, you hear the big pins, but these are the colored pencils. And I let them sit in water for a couple minutes and it makes like the lead break up and makes it more mushy like a Prismacolor colored pencil. I saw this hack somewhere and it works really well. So if you have a set of colored pencils that aren't the highest quality or the best, definitely let them sit in water for a couple minutes and you will get a very great result. Anyway, I know I said I would post Monday and Thursday. If you've seen my last video, you would know that I did say that. I'll also have that video linked in the description down below if you want to check out some old art. But I've been pretty busy this week and I didn't be able to post this video on Thursday and I am posting it on Friday. 
so I'm sorry about that. And if I don't end up posting Friday or Thursday, then I will probably post another day as Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. Hopefully not Sunday though. And if it's after Saturday, then I probably won't post a video at all. Now on to this character. So for this character, I gave her this kind of like movement where she's like, has her hands up, like she's surprised and she's like scaring someone. And the first try that I did with the, my eyes, it looked so creepy. Oh my gosh, look at that smile that I did too. Y'all, that, that looked weird. But I fixed it and I made the pupils wider, which looked much better in the end. I gave her this cute little top with an embroidered orange on the top. I mean, that's how I at least envisioned it. Envisioned. <laughs> and the top is kind of like matte, mush, what is it? Uh, it's like that net stuff, like that's kind of clear. <laughs> Not clear, like, uh, I don't know how to explain it. But anyway, I gave her that shirt and then the bottom half is, and then the clear mush, mash, mush, mm, mesh. There we go. The mesh stuff is overtopping her tank top, which is orange. And I gave her some orange little earrings. And I always forget the hair for some reason. I'm like, this character looks weird. Wait, she's bald. So I gave her some hair, just super simple hair. And also I gave her just some shorts. That hand right there turned out a little wonky, but it's not really a surprise because all my hands I draw are a little wonky. So that is that character. Now on to the color yellow. So the motion I thought of was happy and the object was a lemon. But I didn't really like that idea since the character before was a based off of an orange. So the other object I think of is the sun or summer or shiny days or something like that. Because another word for happy is like bright, um, you know. So when I thought of bright, I thought of like the sunshine and I'm like, the sunshine's yellow. And then when I thought of the sunshine, I thought of summer. And when you think of summer, you think of the beach, the pool. And when you think of the beach or the pool, you think of your, your cute bathing suit that you're wearing. I don't know guys, how many times have I said this? My brain has these crazy stories that are going on that I just have to picture onto paper. But that's all that I had up to until of a bathing suit. So this character is wearing a cute bathing suit like she's in summer and at a pool or something. I took a couple of my yellow Copic markers and I decided to color this girl in. I honestly 100% regret coloring her, coloring her in. I think this page would have looked much better if I left all of them as sketches, but I mean, it's too late now, I can't go back. I started with my lightest yellow and colored that in as her skin. And then some darker colors for her hair and her facial features. As you can see, it looks very streaky and not that pretty. And look at that face. What did I do? I also line arted it with that same darker yellow. I left the bathing suit white and did some polka dots and stripes. And I'm done with that girl. Definitely not my favorite out of all these colors. The next color is green, which fun fact is my favorite color. Now, what I think of when the color green is that the emotion I feel is very relaxed and chill. And the kind of object thing I think of is like earthy and for the planet and stuff. And one time I drew this girl that was based off of um, like earth and very earthy things. So I kind of knew what the outfits would look like. So I drew her with a cute little cardigan and a shirt with the earth on it and just some jeans. Very simple, but super adorable and is definitely one of my favorites. And since this girl is chill and kind of relaxed, I didn't want to do too much detail to her outfit. Then I took a Sharpie highlighter and did kind of like that streak background like I did for the color red. And I did some circles and some lines just to show that this one is my favorite. Yes, it is my favorite. <laughs> Now we're on to the color blue. Now the motion I feel is for the color blue is obviously kind of sad or depressed. And I put the eyes up at first like this, it's a little teardrop. But then I ended up putting the eyes down because I feel like unit looking up is confident, looking down is kind of like defeated. And then the object I thought of was like kind of like clouds or the ocean. 
I didn't really want to follow up based off of a object more. I wanted to focus on the emotion. And also I gave her a turtleneck and a super long skirt and some squiggles in the background and a blue marker. So that's for the color blue. Now the last color is purple, sadly, and I decided to switch it up a bit and draw it with a purple pen instead of a purple colored pencil. And there's a twist. If you can't already see, I drew a dude, a guy, a male. I drew a male, which turned out so cute and I'm very proud of it. I think this is like my first male that I've ever drawn and it's probably gonna be the best one I will ever draw. I don't know how, but I captured the look of a man um, and it turned out pretty well. Then I just took a Crayola marker and two little hearts because he's so cute. So that is my spread of colors. If you guys like this video, make sure to subscribe down below with post notifications on to become one of my moons. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. He's my new favorite.